Welcome to the C Sound Generator. This demo describes how to configure instrument definitions for C Sound score files. The template file is where instruments are defined, and the staves file is where music is made. Each staff is for a single instrument and the notes it plays, and this file uses a 15 tone EDO tuning. To define instruments in the template file, the first definitions are the waveforms. Sine waves are built into C sound, and that is the first definition. But C sound allows for custom waveforms, and examples of those are provided here. The jagged sawtooth, the W, and combo saw and square waves are examples of what can be done. The squiggly wave is used for wave shaping. And finally, some more examples of custom waveforms. I use the convention of dividing groups of instrument IDs into sets of 100. The first group uses simple waveforms. The second is for frequency modulation. The third is for amplitude modulation. The fourth is for single oscillator wave shaping. The fifth is for two oscillator wave shaping. The eighth is for sound samples, including percussion and sound effects. The ninth is miscellaneous, but for now supports vocal formats for vowel sounds. The template definitions correspond one for one to instrument definitions in the C Sound Orchestra file. I took examples from the C Sound book and modified them. I highly recommend that book, and there's a link to it in the description. The changes I made include ensuring that all variables local to an instrument have a unique name. Also, I added ADSR to clean up clicks created by some instruments that ended too abruptly. So let's dive in. The first instrument is a simple sine wave, which is pretty bland. To create the audio file, I am running the make comp script and passing the staves file extension, which is INSTR. Even when multiple notes are played, it sounds rather sterile. Adding an arpeggio helps. But what about making the instrument consist of harmonics and an arpeggio? Notice the harmonics are delayed and the intermediate harmonics decay quickly. Yeah. Yeah. 
this is more interesting, but it has limited use by itself. Adding other instruments should improve the sound further. In my paper, An Analysis of 15 EDO Microtonal Scales, I discuss the harmonics of real-world instruments and instruments I have created using this awareness. The next instrument has harmonics taken from the 15-note tuning. Defined in the fifth column is as an integer instead of a decimal number. It will play a melody over the chord notes of the sine wave instrument. Blending these two instruments already makes the sine instrument sound less bland and takes some of the harshness of the microtonal tuning away. Another option is to add a glissando from a xylophone-like instrument. Notice the unusual harmonic intervals of a metal bar instrument. These sound equally at home in microtonal music as they do in 12-tone music. But our ears almost yearn for the stringed instruments and their rich harmonics. The plucked strings instrument provides this with extra harmonics for the bridge and other strings and a percussive sound of plucking, which I simulate with low frequency fixed notes. But notice that I have manipulated the sound by slightly detuning the harmonic at four times the fundamental and use a modified sawtooth wave number two for that one and the harmonic at eight times the fundamental. Also, there is a right and left channel for this instrument. Here you see how this is implemented in the C-Sound Orchestra file. It obviously can be used for panning, but there are other effects that can make the sound even more full such as playing each channel an octave apart. Or, for a similar effect, play one channel at a slight delay. Notice that the second left channel is playing notes 12 one hundredths of a second after the first. I have used several variations on this basic concept to produce a lush background in pieces I have composed.
Moving on to an instrument not based on any in the real world is an extreme case of having different waveforms fade in and out as each note is played. This one uses a sine wave with some detuning as the fundamental. Next, a modified triangle wave plays the even numbered harmonics. This is followed by a modified square wave playing the odd numbered harmonics. And finally, the even numbered harmonics are played using a modified sawtooth wave. I prefer to blend these more, but kept them relatively distinct so the waveforms could be distinguished. C sound supports the more traditional modulation types, and I like having them available. First are the frequency modulation instruments. I have a piece where I call these the wobbly singers, which is fun. <laughs> This demonstrates the controls C-Sound provides. Moving on to amplitude modulation, this provides a tremolo effect. And again, C sound provides control over the speed and intensity. Wave shaping is interesting. I have used the single oscillator shaper for mostly for effects, especially glissando. Notice that the duration is the same for all notes. Holding some longer than others enhances the effect. Wave shaping with two oscillators creates very interesting effects. The length of the note duration plays an important role in the sound, and the customization of waveforms that C-Sound allows presents endless possibilities for modulation shapes. <laughs> Last but not least is the percussion capability. Notice the use of repetition to generate rhythmic patterns.
The template file definitions are fairly simple. The orchestra file looks complicated, but that is because the sound samples can be stereo or monophonic, and that determines how C sound handles them. The effective definitions are really only half of what is seen here. The key is good sound samples. I use Audacity to clean, layer, and enhance samples. Then, when imported into a C sound score, I only need to set the pitch and the volume. The value from the notes file for sounds is actually a multiplier which changes the pitch. Notice instrument 805, the tom. The single sample sounds like a large rack of them because the pitch rises. Also, instrument 801, the snare, plays at two pitches for a nice effect. An instrument 807, the sustained symbol, can be repeated as many times as needed to get the right amount of sustain and or echo. This can be handled in the staff definition or the instrument template definition. So now it's time to put it all together. I tweaked it a bit beyond what you see here since all of the examples were played at about the same time and all of them together sounded like a hot mess. It should give you an idea of what you can do with this tool. I hope you have as much fun discovering your own instruments as I have had with mine.